Bell is on EA Sports, and we are at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Here's the former Illini kicker, Chase McLaughlin, to get us started. And off we go from Tampa. Now this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. field three and out a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12 Allen gonna throw and this pass broken up excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to he did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived and I've got to tell you you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Charles, their first drive of the game, and already they're taking chances here, but they get the fourth down conversion. I I'm curious, do you think that that's something they game plan for on the opening drive if it came up, or is that something that happened organically? I think that they game plan for it, Brandon, and when you think about it, let's just say it. The word analytics is a big part of how everyone looks at a game nowadays, but it's not just the analytics. It's a coach willing to be daring, willing to be bold, and they certainly were there. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. Here's Allen to throw it. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Nice progress down the field, was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Now Allen. And Diggs has it. He's got room at the 30. He's to the 15. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. Go, go. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen. Scoring on the keeper from six yards out. And the Bills are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Now 
Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at the 31 yard line. Cut. They'll begin on the ground here with Vaughn. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Staying on the ground with Vaughn. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. King, King, King. Mayfield. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. And they're indeed going. It's Mayfield. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And it'll be a turnover on downs. They'll try the right side with Harris. And that one blown up quickly. As he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Now Allen throwing on second down. Forced out to his left. Into the hands of the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. He was out there waving his arms. Well, you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help. I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention. Because now you're in scramble drill. Touchdown, Bills! Gabriel Davis, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Bills have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he's going to be brought down inside the five at the three. Well, not exactly a banner return, so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with. They've got to go a long way now to try and score some points. I do know this from experience. There will be a few comments muttered his way by the offense as they head out on the field. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Open man is Tucker. So give him two yards there on the completion. And third and eight now. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, Mayfield. And that will be incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And this returnable for Hines. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Yeah. 
The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the break, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. Throwing now is Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Josh Allen, he says that he wants to continue to perfect executing the run pass option. Looked pretty good there. And he's put in the minds of all people trying to defend him that his legs create big plays. So guess who benefits? His running back. You no doubt about it. We just saw it there. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. 56, 56. Go. Go. To the air, Allen. Flushed out right. He gets it complete to Harris. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Damian Harris, 44 yards. And the Bills have moved out in front by three touchdowns.